And welcome back, YouTube. This is Mr. Baxbuster here with part two of my Dungeons and Dragons miniatures Death Knell booster case unboxing. In the first part, we were able to get through four of the booster packs, and honestly, I think we did pretty good. We have a pretty good selection of miniatures here. My favorite probably being the Thascor Giant Elephant Behemoth, and of course, the Death Knight. I just absolutely love. Death Knights. A lot of sets have them. Honestly, I think that's one. This guy right here is one of the best Death Knights so far. Without further introduction, let's get into cracking some more packs open. As you can tell, this is going to be the, the Beholder pack that we're going to be opening. I would love it if a Beholder was in here. I gotta say, the glue on these is incredible. Mm, I can't believe how well the glue has held up after all these years. Ah! Oh. Honestly, I'm better off just ripping it open like this on the side. At least I don't have to work my way through glue. that open and there we go okay so all duplicates that I got from the first half I will put straight to the side that's why we don't have to worry about looking at duplicates our first one is indeed a duplicate it is a common I believe this was the death lock once again pretty cool uh, looks like it could be a commander of the undead of an undead army and I really love the attention to detail right on this piece of clothing right here. Our next miniature. Ooh, that's a new one. All right. So, this appears to be a common, and it is a Kruthic Hatchling. Very nice. You don't see too many of these nowadays, and honestly, to have a Hatchling version, you, you probably need a lot of these and the next size up if you want to have an army of them if, in case you're invading a Kruthic layer. That'd be kind of cool. Honestly, I like this miniature quite a bit, and it's very one, or just a couple of colors, pretty much uh, silver and black, but it has a lot of detail for what it is. I like it a lot. Good mini. Alright. Ooh, another new one. Don't know what that is. Looks like some so maybe another dwarf. Let's see. This is yep. This is a dwarf artificer. This is an uncommon. Looks like he's wielding a mace. A bit of a derpy face. Not too bad though. Love the mustache on him. Looks like he's carrying a nice little backpack there. Got some supplies. Not too bad of a miniature overall. Alright, let's see what we have up next. Ooh, some sort of a uh, Kung Fu master. Maybe a monk. This is... Oh, it is a monk. It is, if it'll focus... A whirling steel monk. This is yet another uncommon. I like this one quite a bit. Shows really nice motion. 
the uh, the clothing is actually pretty well detailed. Some nice shading on it. And I and honestly, this could work really well as like a as like a monk in training or a monk, a de you know, like a higher ranking monk. If you need someone with a, maybe you're visiting a temple and it's under attack or maybe it gets under attack, this would be perfect for that type of scenario. Very nice. Nice miniature. Ooh, this is a big one. A griffin? I didn't know that there was a griffin in the set. That's kind of cool. I imagine this is the rare. Usually in the older packs like this, the large ones were the rare. They didn't make too many uh, uncommon large in the old sets like this. And yeah, that's the griffin, that, and that is indeed a rare. Got the orange eye, the big gaping beak, the talons, the wings, actually pretty good griffin. Wings look a bit stiff, but it is plastic. What, what do you do? Um, yeah, I gotta say this is a pretty good griffin. I like this one quite a bit. One of the better griffins from the early days in D&D. Or early days of D&D pre-painted miniatures, I should say. Not early days in general, because D&D has been around for a long time. I like it. And up next, ooh, I think this is the Bullywug Thug. And it's the Bullywug Thug, yeah, very nice, I was right. That is a common. Goes well with the giant frog I got earlier. Actually, looks pretty good. A lot of detail, a lot of uh, like warts on the skin. Good uh, face expression. He looks unamused. Looks like he's poking at someone with the stick. Or, or actually, pretty good armor on the back too. Yeah, I, I give this one a pretty good. This is a pretty dang good common. One of the best ones in the set, in my opinion. So that's the Bullywug Thug. Alright. And, ooh, okay, I think this is the last type of common that we needed. Now, I actually have a miniature of this guy that I got a long time ago. As it was kind of like a, just a add-in with an order that I did a long time ago at a place because it, 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 I, I know I didn't order it but I got all the minis I got so and I just kind of threw it in um, and this is I'm not 100% sure how to say this guy's name but it's a I'm gonna say Ibixen? Ibaxen? I-B-I-X-I-A-N I'm not 100% sure how to say that but it's like a goat person Really cool. Love the axe he's carrying. Armor's pretty decent on this guy, too. You can almost use it as like a baby minotaur. Not too bad at all. I love the giant, uh, his expression. He's just like, ah. Either that or he's one heck of a... Or he's, uh... Looks like he's either yelling or he's ready to eat something, so maybe both. <laughs> Who knows? But that's the Ib 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 ah. Ib Ixen. The Ib Ixen. Very cool. Is that the last oh we got one more miniature. Ooh, looks like we got yet another dwarf. A lot of dwarfs in this set. 
I believe this is the one that's modeled after the dwarf skeleton. This is the dwarf Phanlax soldier. Or Phylaxon, sorry. Not Phanlax. Phylax. The dwarf Phylaxon soldier. Very cool. This is a uncommon, yes, an uncommon. Love the giant shield with the uh, sun rays beaming off of it. That's really cool. The little pickaxe he's holding as his weapon. The completely covered face to make it uh, a lot easier to paint. The armor is actually really well done on this guy. They did, I, I gotta admit, on the old D&D &D lines like this, they did a great job with the armor. The armor always seems to be really high grade. Yeah, that is the Dwarf Phylax Phalan Phalans Phalanix Soldier. Ah, there we go. Could not say it for some reason. Very awesome miniature. I love it. And I believe that's it for that particular box booster yes it is it's empty all right so with that out of the way we have to move to these guys up here mm -hmm. I'm gonna open up this one on the left because this one is the much heavier one and I believe the beholder is a heavy unit so I would like to pull that Come on. This thing is impossible to open, man. I will say, anti-theft on these was grade A. Holy Toledo. Oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think we've made a breakthrough. I think we made a breakthrough. Erg. Erg. Oh, jeez. Okay. Finally. Whew. That was rough. Our first miniature from this one, hopefully there's some good stuff. Hopefully we got another, our third death lock of the booster box, our case. Very nice. Oh, we got another uh, vampire spawn, I believe it was. That's an uncommon. Another dire badger. Once again, not sure how many badgers you need. Probably have two too many, but you know what? It's kind of cute. Oh boy, this one feels like something heavy. I'm going to try to work my way around it, save that one for last. If I'm able to. You know what? Let's just go straight for it. Oh, another Flind or Flind Captain, aka, I just call it a Knoll. A lot of dupe, this one's been dupe city. Ooh hoo hoo, that's a good pull. That's, that's a big boy. This is, of course, the aspect of Nerul. The aspect of Nerul. Now this is an amazing piece. Honestly, it's tall. This guy is bigger than the Thaskor. 
just to give you guys a size comparison. Uh, this guy could easily stand in as an embodiment of death, or an aspect of death. I mean, the Grim Reaper, this could easily be that. Heck, this guy kind of reminds me of death from, uh, uh, what is it, Gauntlet. Very amazing piece. A lot of great detail. I mean, look at his face. You got like the red skull going on up here. He's I, honestly, I, I look at it as kind of his eyes are just glaring so much that it's turning his face red. He has that incredibly scary grin. The beard is really well done. You got the little skulls hanging off of him. Looks like he's about ready to cast some sort of death spell upon you. Just an amazing, amazing miniature overall. This cape, this guy is amazing. Super happy I got him. I, this is one of the top uh, three miniatures I wanted in the set, and I got it. I'm very happy with that. Amazing miniature. It's an aspect. This miniature is deserving of the word aspect. That's the aspect of Nirol, or Nirul. Ooh. Wow, this one's, uh, giving me miniatures that are up here on the box, because this one is the Warforged Wizard, and he appears on the back of the box. This is the Warforged Wizard. Some sort of mechanical wizard, I like it. The robe on this guy is actually really cool. Red with the uh, orange running through it. Really unique and kind of cool. I like it. And that back, that's really cool. That design there. A little pouch. Honestly, this guy this guy could, if you're a, war, a warforged character in the game, this guy would work great as a, as a PC character. Or if you're if you run into a Warforged character in the game, this guy would work great as an enemy or just as an NPC. Great character design overall. I like it a lot. Of course, there's the card set. And, oh, a third skeletal dwarf. Very happy about that. And one more mini, and it is, of course, another Ibixen. Very nice overall. Good, uh, no, I, a lot of dupes, but that, those two miniatures right there, definitely worth the uh, booster pack there. Now this one... This beholder is very heavy, very heavy indeed. I gotta say, definitely feels like a he hefty miniature is in this one. Like almost as heavy as the new rule was. Kind of excited to see what's in here. And to be honest, So our first miniature is, ooh, that's probably where the heft came from. I'm guessing this is probably our rare, unfortunately. Really hoping for that beholder. Not even exactly sure what this guy is. Looks like some sort of giant. And oh, it's just an uncommon. This is a Skull Crusher Ogre. Never mind, we still have a rare chance. So, oh, were, sorry about that, were you guys able to see that? I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah, there we go, the Skull Crusher Ogre. Very nice. Now I gotta say, this guy's actually pretty cool. Um, the giant mace is menacing. That, I mean, just to give a size comparison, to a normal human, like the bard here. 
that mace, I mean, that's like half the size of the bard. I mean, if that lands on you, you're you're getting squashed in half. That I mean, you're 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 not you're not gonna survive that. That shield is amazing. I love it. And I have to say, his face is not bad. I've seen a lot where it seems like the bigger miniatures they do a better job with the face. Oh, let's see. His armor's not too bad. Yeah, this guy's actually pretty cool. A, a decent... Uh, I'm kind of surprised. I didn't know that there was a large uh, uncommon miniature in the set. That's kind of cool. Like I said, just a very... Uh, ominous presence. That's the Skull Crusher Ogre. Decent mini overall. Very surprised. I was not expecting it. Is, it, is he on screen? A little bit. Let's move him in. Better. Okay. Let's get to the next one. Oh, we got ourselves another bard. Not, not a bad thing to have a couple of bards. In case somebody wants to be a bard, and then there's a bard at the tavern that you're staying at. So here is the card set. Let's try not to reveal anything. Oh, we got ourselves another Kruthic Hatchling. A one to that, a great one to have multiples of. Oh, the uh, spell stitched Hobgoblin Zombie. One that you probably don't need a ton of. Oh, another Ibiaxin. This one's a big one, boys. Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! Behold her magic. Behold her magic. Behold her magic. It's real. The eye of the beholder. It's real! Woo! The behold. I'm so excited. The other miniatures. Sorry, going down. This was what I wanted. I could end the video right now. I don't care what I get the rest of the box. This is what I wanted. The Beholder. Behold. It's the Beholder. This is one of the most iconic miniatures ever released in this entire game. The Beholder is not only an iconic monster encounter in the game, but he is, in this miniature game, this is probably one of the most, top three most memorable and most recognizable miniatures that you'll ever find. I don't even have to show you the base, but I will. You know what it is. It's Beholder, it's a rare. Look at that maw. It is impressive. His eye getting ready to cast a death ray. All those little tentacle eyes up there. Just beautiful. I am extremely happy to pull this guy. This is what I wanted. I got it. I got the aspect of new rule. Honestly, the rest of this box, I, I I could get duplicates and I'd be fine. This this is what I wanted. I'm happy to pull it. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. Got two of my top three miniatures that I wanted from this set. Just such a beautiful specimen, guys. This was worth the box alone. So happy to have it. This guy, honestly, this guy would be the presence, would be like the centerpiece in my miniature collection as of now. I don't think I have a miniature that I like more than this guy. I am super happy. Look at that. I mean, that eye just keeps staring at you. That mouth. 
ready to send you to the bottomless void. Beautiful miniature. Looks even better in person than it does on uh, pictures. Well, you don't have to think twice as to what's the best, what's your favorite miniature. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure if I ask that question, everybody will probably have the same answer. The rest of the box, it, it's going to be hard to beat. All right, let's get back into it. We got another Bullywog Thug, which honestly, to have minions like this, always nice to have duplicates. And, oh, we got ourselves another, uh, this guy, where is he, where did I put him at, is it this one, yeah, what's this guy, that was the Undying Soldier, is that it, okay, that is it, and of course, we have, The stat sheet. I gotta say, the rest of this box, like I said, I, I really don't care. I got what I wanted. There's only one miniature that I'd really like to pull. That's that'd be the last of my top three. And if I get that, I like I said, honestly, I could just call it a box. I don't even have to open anything else. But I will just because I want to. All right, guys. So we have ourselves a Death Knight. And this one also feels heavy. And the last miniature I want, I believe, is another heavy miniature. Another heavy rare. So, If I don't pull it, I will let you guys know what it is at the end of this video. Come on. All right, guys, you ready for this? Let's see what else we get. Oh, there's a card set. Let's move that to the side. Our first, oh, that's a bear, that's a bear. Another animal to add to the wildlife encounter list. It's, it, yep, it's a dire bear. Has some spikes sticking out of it. Looking menacing as ever, about ready to have you for lunch. That's a pretty cool bear. Really cool fur on it. Honestly, pretty impressed. I like it. Not as good as, of course, the Beholder, but like I said, I don't think anything's going to top that. Giant Frog. Another Goblin Adept. Ooh. Ooh. I was not expecting this guy. That is an uncommon growl. Basically, it's a brain with tentacles and a bird's beak. Actually, it looks pretty impressive. I like it. The almost reminds me of the uh, Piranha Plant boss from Yoshi's Island with the tentacles like that. Pretty cool. I like it. Was not expecting to get one of these. That's the grill. Although he does seem to have some standing up issues, which I guess is understandable. This is another timber wolf. This is kind of the uh, the wildlife booster pack. 
Oh, two for one. Sorry about that. Two new ones, though, so that's nice. So, this guy is a wood woad. Wood woad. Hmm, interesting. Actually, it kind of looks cool. Almost looks like a, a treant, like a mini treant. Love the shield. The, like, bark on his legs. The wood on his chest, head. Kind of reminds me of Groot, but with weapons. I like it quite a bit. Pretty cool miniature. That is the wood wowed. And this might be a rare for the for the box or for the pack. That is a rare. That is a green fang druid. Let's see how good it is. The face is not that great. But the armor is really well done on this character. The cape is pretty cool. The shield looks like a giant leaf. That's actually kind of cool for a druid. The sword, you could use it as like a bent sword. I know it's probably supposed to not be that bent, but it actually looks decent for what it is. Honestly, could definitely see the per somebody using this as a... Uh, PC, just maybe touch up the face a little bit, then you'd be good to go. Not a bad rare. Doesn't hold a candle to Mr. Beholder there, but not a bad rare. This is, oh, a Kinku. And that's it. Alright, guys. We got four left to go through. Hmm. This one actually feels pretty hefty as well. So maybe another celestial bear, something like that in there. I gotta say, the pulls for this box have been pretty dang good. Not a lot of duds so far, as far as uh, rares. This one's opening a bit easier, I think. There we go. Oh, the checklist was like chewed on that one, so that's a bit unfortunate. Alright guys, you ready? This one feels heavy. Oh, we got another Celestial Bear. So we got its mate if we ever want to have a bear and its uh, two mating bears to run into. That would be a very dangerous combo. Or maybe like two brothers or something like that. That'd be kind of cool. Got another Toady. Another Kruthik. Love the Kruthiks. Very happy to get them. Got a stack of cards. Ooh! That looks like a mud man. Or, or like a swamp, swamp creature or something like that. Alright, so it is just a uncommon and it's a blood hulk fighter honestly you could use this as a hulk you could use this as just a monster from the swamp you could use it as shrek honestly this guy has a lot of different uh uses honestly to me it looks like you could easily use it as a swamp creature you're just walking it 
you know, you're just traveling through a swamp, and then all of a sudden this guy just pops out, he's like, roar, and then you go, gotta fight him, you know, like, he goes, roar, uh, what's his name? Blood Hulk Smash! And you're like, be gone, foul swamp creature. Just something like that, I don't know. Just have a little fun. And then we got... Ooh. That looks like a character of importance. That is a war priest of Hex of Hextor. Let's check this guy out. He has the mace. Ooh, look at that shield. That shield is amazing. That's a great shield there. This guy's definitely an older guy. Definitely an experienced warrior. That armor, honestly, this guy could easily be a great NPC, like the, or just a, if you want, this guy could be a PC character too, like the veteran of the group. Very amazing character. Like it a lot. Another Ibiaxin. Ooh, ooh. I hope I get another one of these. I love skeletons. And I know for a fact this is an uncommon. And I actually did a reprint of this as a limited edition. And it's like a bluish fire and it looks amazing. I wish I could get the re I wish the reprint version was the original. But this is, I believe, a burning skeleton. Yes, a burning skeleton. And it's just what it is. It's a skeleton that's on fire. Honestly, with that flame, it kind of looks like Ghost Rider almost a bit. I don't know. I, I guess you could use it as a stand-in for a skeleton that's been hit with a fireball? I don't know. Because I, I don't think you're going to run into too many burning skeletons out, out in the wild or in dungeons or stuff, but... You do have a miniature in case you need one, so that's kind of cool. And the reprint, if you guys just look up the reprint for this guy, it looks amazing, by the way. So, I just want to give that a quick look. Anything else in here? Oh, another Bullywog Thug. And that's it. Okay. Alright guys, we are down to our last three booster packs. One of these I'm going to keep sealed, the other two I'm going to open. Okay, the first one I want to open is the Mummy Lord. Honestly, if the Mummy Lord contains a Mummy Lord inside, I would not be disappointed. That would be a fine miniature to get for a rare. Mm. These things are so hard to open. Alright guys, and girls, let's see what we get. Our first miniature is another Dire Badger. Feels like there's something big in here. Another Spell Stitched Hobgoblin Zombie. Ooh, 
Ooh, that looks like a like an evil sorcerer. This is an uncommon a renegade warlock. If you guys can see that. Renegade Warlock. Very nice. Actually, this guy looks really cool. I love the black cape. The really a nice attention to detail on his robe. His staff's pretty cool. Almost could be doubled as a spear. His face is actually really well detailed. I like this guy's really good detailed face for uncommon. Honestly, this guy could easily be a character's NP or a character's PC, or be an NPC like a wizard that you have to take down that went uh, to the dark side and locked himself into in a, his wizard tower or something. Really, really cool NPC. Definitely a villain or a playable character. Love it. The cape as well. This is a great, great miniature. I love it a lot. Got the stack of cards. What's this? Oh, they got ourselves another dwarf caver. Yes! Guys, I went three for three. This has been an amazing booster box. This is the one I wanted. I got my top three miniatures I wanted. This was the last one that I wanted the most. Look at just the beautiful color on this guy. This is a rare and it's the Quaddle. Personally, I think it looks like Leviathan from Final Fantasy VIII summoning, but so I, I might refer to this guy as Leviathan, but he is Quaddle and let me tell you, it is beautiful. Look at this guy's wings. The blue, the green, the orange, the red. Beautiful rainbow-colored wings. The serpent-like body. Beautiful. I mean, this guy would is going to look great alongside the Beholder. Just because of the color variation. The Beholder. Very Dungeon and Dragons like this guy. Just very beautiful. Very tall. Commands a presence in your collection. Absolutely amazing. Qu now, Quaddles probably aren't that common when you actually play the game but uh just to have a centerpiece in your collection amazing i love it very happy i went three for three guys this has been an amazing booster box experience very happy i picked that one to open and up next ooh, i think that's a new one too A sword that's been bent, but that could easily be fixed. And this guy's name is... The Soldier of Thrain. That is uncommon. The Giant Shield of Flame. Let's take a look at this guy's face if we can. Eh, not bad. Armor's really well detailed. And of course, the bent sword. Love the golden hilt. Overall, pretty decent... Pretty decent miniature that could easily be like a town guard or like royal guard NPC. And... Oh, we got ourselves another skeletal dwarf. Can never have too many skeletons. And, oh, there is one more in here. And it's... The Orc. Very nice. The checklist, and that's it. Alright guys, we have one booster pack left. And I am very torn because I love both artworks. Both artworks are great. 
I'm trying to think of what I have there's left to pull. So let me see. The Beholder is slightly heavier than the Death Knight. You know what? I'm going to open the Death Knight. I want to keep a Beholder sealed because the artwork's just fantastic. And, uh... I can't think of what else that I really want to pull that's heavy. Because I got the Quaddle and I got the Beholder and I got Aspect. So honestly, I wouldn't mind if this is a Mummy Lord in here. Because I think Mummy Lord is human size, so... Wouldn't, wouldn't mind it. Playing the weights. Alright guys, so for our last booster pack, what will it give us? Our first thing is a checklist. Very nice. And then we hit oh, another death lock. Ooh. That's our very first miniature. That was Catfolk Wilder, I believe. Very nice. Another Goblin Adept. The old stack of cards. Ooh, this guy again. Huh, don't know what that is. Alright guys, so this miniature is a Valorous Prince, and it is a rare, so that is a bit unfortunate. Not the rare I was hoping for, I was hoping for a Mummy Lord, but you know what? Not a bad choice. Cape actually looks really good on this guy, and of course, you know, this could be an adventuring pr prince, maybe a prince needs to prove his worth in order to take the throne. So he has to go on a journey, and he just happens you just happen to be the people that he needs to journey with. Got his foot on a stump there, kind of cool. Face, once again, leaves a little bit to be desired, but not as bad as some of the other faces in this set. Kind of like the hair this guy's got rocking, though. A little bit of that mullet. Not a, not a bad rare, but doesn't hold a candle to the Beholder or Quaddle. Do we have a one last uncommon? Oh, the Timber Wolf. A Kinku. Is there anything else? One miniature left. And it is. Oh, a Dugar. Alright, guys. So, with that said, the last pack was a bit of a letdown, but you know what? Like I said, I didn't care if I got dupes the rest of the way because I got what I wanted. So, overall, I went three for three. I got my top three most wanted. That being number three, the aspect of Nurel. Number two, the beautiful Quaddle. And number one, which pretty much everybody who gets this these boosters wanted the most at the time and still do today the magnificent beholder let me know in the comments down below what your favorite miniature is from this set and with that said this has some booster box buster opening a case of dungeons and dragons miniatures pre-painted line death knell part two Signing out.